Gallo here with Florida Luxury Realty, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on using DocuSign for having your real estate customers electronically sign uh, contracts, forms, listing agreements, all that good stuff. So once you go to DocuSign.com, you're going to log in or set up an account with your email address and password. Okay, and right here you can even see that you can save your signature uh, to be used, you know, in the spots that you need to sign. Up here in the navigation, there's a document tab. If you click the document tab, it'll let you access the documents that you have going on right now. As you can see, I have one that's out. I'm waiting on that to be returned. All the others are marked as completed. You can click on these at any time and open up the documents um, to review them. But we're gonna show you how to get them sent out to your clients for electronic signature. So to sign or get signatures, you're gonna press the big yellow new button, send a new document. Up here in the left corner, we wanna upload. So you're gonna find the document on your computer and you're gonna go ahead and attach it. This is just a blank form that I'm using as a test. And you can see I actually just had one come in that was completed. So you add the person's name. And their email. If you have more than one person, you can add another recipient and their email, and then click to set the, the signing order. Okay. The document preview is here. That's the document you're going to be sending. Your subject line for your email is right here. So you can please DocuSign, and then it gives you the PDF file name. You can highlight that and delete it. And just type offer on your home. You can even leave a little message. I like to add follow the prompts on the screen and you will be great. On the top left corner here we have the next tab again in yellow. Click on that. And here's where you're going to set your document your signatures. If you've got two people It'll have one here in yellow and one in gray. And you can click between the two and then between signature and initial to put them wherever you need them. So we're going to take the first person. There's an initial spot right down here. So all we did was click on initial, bring it here, click again, and it drops it. Scroll through the document. There's another initial spot. I'm going to click on the initial. Now they also need to sign. So I'm going to click on signature, drop that right there. And the document also requires a date. So I'm going to click the date signed, move that over there, drop that in there. And that's it. I just used a quick two page document so you can see how we do it. Sometimes some forms will have a print, you know, where the, where the uh, signer has to print their name. And for that, you can just use a text box. And drop that in there and obviously the form would say please print and they'll know to click on there and print their name in there so that's very simple click on the yellow send button on the top right corner and the document has been sent now it shows here it is there is the other offer and since I sent it to myself And here it is. Click on it. So this is what your customer is going to see. Big blue box, review the document, who it came from. Click on that. This is great so you can explain to your customers how it works. Okay. Please read the electronic records and signature disclosure. They click on agree. And then they click on continue. start. There's an initial and they click on it. 
Now here's the samples of what the signature is going to look like and the initial. Okay. Most people never touch it or change it, but you can. They do have the option to change the style um, where it can look more like an actual signature. Down here, yellow, adopt an initial. And you click on that, and it dropped the initial right in. Next is a signature box. I'm going to click on that. Text. They're just going to type in their name. Click next, another initial box, and it dropped the initial in. Very simple on the on the customer's end. It automatically filled in the date, signatures, and everything like that. All they have to do is click on finish. Now at this point, <clears throat> they'll be prompted to sign up. Okay, most people just click new, thank you. And it says that you've successfully signed your document using DocuSign. If there was a secondary signer, it would now go to their email directly for them to electronically sign. On the sender's end, we get emails that say completed, offer on your home. Because that was the subject line. And we've got two here, and I'm trying to. Click on to open it. <clears throat> There's the document with the electronic signatures already in there. Okay. Up at the top, you've got the option to download it or print it. You can download it as one combined PDF. Let's say you had to upload multiple PDFs on the start screen. You can click on combine PDF and they'll all be merged together in one PDF for you. So as a Realtor, if you've got a contract and then a PDF with disclosures and then a PDF with um, you know, additional addendums and you've had to upload three separate PDFs, at this point you can click Combine PDF and you've got one PDF. Very simple. I am using a Mac, so if you just do your Command P Save it as a PDF. Executed PDF. Title it, and then you know you drop down where you're where you're going to be saving it, and then you save it. Now, when that's done, if you ignore the email, let's say you see the email on your phone, you don't want to read it on your phone. So if you come back, log into DocuSign, and go to your documents right up here you'll see offer on your home oh, it hasn't come back yet but you'll see the other ones have been completed and you can click on them here and then you can click download as a combined PDF right from here so that's it DocuSign is super simple great way to um, have your customers electronically sign documents whether they're close to you or far away and that about covers electronic signature through DocuSign. Have a great day.